everyone. Well, what what is the saying I always say? Oh, uh, something about learning a lesson. So, I hope, I tried to curl my hair to be fancy, but it all fell out. It's so hot and humid. But anyhow, I hope you learn from my mistake. Mistakes, well, mistake. So, I had to get another doctor, a specialist, According to my primary care, I've been looking, looking, people aren't taking patients. They're behind, they're trying to fill in their, you know, the people that missed out and everything. I finally found someone. They um, can't get me in for a few months, so I'm sure my doctor will be very upset about that. But at least I got somewhere to fulfill his needs. Problem is, so we went through everything. I explained to them, I can't do Zoom because my internet sucks and I, I, I just have no devices. Well... After all this um, negotiation, about three months worth of negotiation to get to this other doctor, they're like, well, no, he has to see new patients. Like, it's not called Zoom, it's something else. And I'm like, you're the only, no one else in the specialty was calling me back. So I said, I'll do the best I can. So after I hung up, I got, I got um, desperate, frantic. Because this is something that he required. Because my doctor retired, remember? So I got a new doctor. So I have to jump over heaps. Heaps. What do you jump over? What do you jump over? It's so hot I can't think. I had to jump over. I had to do somersaults. I don't know what the word is. But anyhow. So I said, I'll figure it out. So I was very desperate. I was very, very upset. Because he's going to call me next week. And I have, I have to find somebody or else... I'm not going to, it's not going to be good. Okay, so I, I text my son and asked if he could look for a computer for me because I don't know what kind. I want the cheapest, just something I can do this thing with. Plus, to do poly stuff because my phone is, is just breaking, breaking. It's going to break and then uh, YouTube's gone. It's done. I won't be able to use it. And plus, it's very hard because, you know, I can't go to the grocery store and sit down like I used to and load things for poly. So I, you know, I just do it at home. Why did I do all this? But anyhow, it takes a long time and whatever, and it's a small screen. I mean, I'm long overdue. I had a computer long ago. So long story short, a short story long, I um, I went online to Dell. Now, I, I used to have a Dell charge card, but if you don't use charge cards, I'm trying to show you my long hair. My hair is so long. It's always in ponytail. I took it out. I'm like, oh, my gosh, my hair grew. But I guess it just was like that. But I don't know. But anyhow. Very right to the left. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so lost my train of thought. Oh yeah. So um and my mom used to have a Dell chart, so I went on the Dell site, started just looking around, looked at another store. Oh yeah, my son just said call this place and blah blah blah. No help. So anyhow, so I, I looked at a couple places and Dell had the cheapest, so I found one. So I thought if I could get a charge, the payments are really low. I think they're like $20 a month. So I could do that. I could handle it. So it says you can get pre-approved. So I built out whatever, just your name and your address, I think, pretty much. Not much. And it says you've been pre-approved. And they gave me the amount. So I'm like, okay, this is cool. And then it says go on to page two to finish the application. So I did that. And luckily it was a good day. So my internet was working. Actually, you know what I did? I went outside in my car. So I must have got someone else's internet, which I know is probably not good because I'm putting my personal information out there. And I only thought of it right now. But at the moment, I was like so excited because the computer would be very beneficial to Polly too. So anyhow, I, um, this is all crooked. The phone keeps falling. Oh my gosh, the tripod. I don't know what's wrong with it. I fixed it. Oh, that's my finger. And it's it's just the ball the ball joint. Yeah, that's just moving. Please don't move. So anyhow, I was all excited, so I filled out page two and then it says um to call us and we'll we need to uh do a verification, which I know that happened before in the charge card. So they take your phone number you gave, which has to be a cell, and then they send you a number which then you either fill in or you tell them whatever way it's done. So this is not anything new. I've done it before. So I called them and I got someone from another country. And I should that should have been my first 
first um, red flag. Anyhow, so they went over the thing. And part two, I had to put down my social security number. Now, the top part, I only had to put the last four numbers. But the bottom, I had to put all, which I, I've done online charge cards. And I put my whole social security which come to think of it, just putting the last four doesn't make sense. I've never done that, but I didn't think of it. I was in desperate, desperate need of getting this. So I did that, and um, so then um, so I called, and then they went over the information. But basically, they needed my last name, whatever. But again, I've done this before, and it's 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 fine. So then he says, "Hold on a minute, come back." He says, "Well, I need to send you a verification code." To your cell number and he says so i'm going to send it to um number ending with 2223 i'm like that's not my number and again i was in such desperate need i was excited i got a charge i was excited it's, it's it's something i could afford a month i would be able to make my doctor happy and maybe take care of me and polly could have this and we could have much more enriched homeschool so anyhow, then I says, what number? He says, hold on. He comes back and then he says some other four last numbers. So, you know, usually, now to think of, usually they would say your whole number, but I didn't think of it because I'm like all elated. I'm going to get this charge card. I could pick out the computer and we'll be here in a few days. And I was just going to get something little. The cheapest one I think they had was three ninety seven. I, I don't know. I wish my son could have looked. He knows so much about computers, but you know what? If he's too busy, he's too busy. So after the third time, I thought something stinks. So I hung up, I looked up the Dell number, and they had many numbers. So I thought, okay, I called one number, I explained, I said I want a supervisor. Long story short, so they gave me to the fraud department. And it was another, in this other speaking language, and usually they are notorious for ripping people off. It's always on the news. This is not about, about nationalities or you know, shaming people. I'm just saying they're notoriously known for doing these kind of scams. So I, I got really scared because I'm like, I have my social security number out there, my driver's license number, my address, my phone number and everything. So then they said, uh, uh, I, I want to do the accent. I won't do it. I'm sorry. Uh, we can't help you. You have to call the police. I said, no, no, I don't have to call the police. I said, if I really filled out an application with you, Dell, you would know and you could tell me. So he hung up. Then I really got scared. So I called for the third time and got yet another number. And um, bottom line is I've been scammed. So as I was waiting on hold, I went, I was able to find the first page I filled out that says, congratulations, you've been pre-approved. Now in the place of that, it says, you have not been approved. And usually when they do that, they don't write, you have not been approved. They write, um, you'll be getting a letter within seven to 10 days. So then I knew I'd been had. So I don't know what they can do. I mean, there's no bank account numbers, but I do have charge cards. I don't know with those, in, with that information, can they do anything? I don't know what to do, but please be careful. And I'm pretty smart at that. I, you know, I've never been taken. And I, I, I'm, I was sick to my stomach. I was sick. My head was hurting. Oh, my God. So I don't know what's going to happen now. I don't know. And just to get so excited, luckily I didn't tell Polly, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do because this doctor will not do, um, do it unless he can see you. It's not like he can examine me anyhow, but he wants to see me face to face. Uh, so I figured I'd get the computer and I'd go in a parking lot somewhere of a store that you can get internet outside. Because I found somewhere. I can't remember where it is right now. So I figured I'd do that, whatever I have to do. And then Polly could have it and homeschool would be somewhere enriched. And I could even do YouTube on there if I could figure it out. And then I wouldn't have to worry about my phone collapsing. And then I can't do YouTube. But anyhow, so I've been had. So be careful. I think because now what's going on, there's more and more of this happening. Well, I should know, and I hear all this hacking stuff, and I don't know. I didn't make the connection, so no computer, no nothing. I, I can't even trust there is a real Dell site anymore. I, I don't really know what's going on. The other store, the computers are the cheapest computer they had, bottom line, laptop. I need a laptop because I have to go in my car. It's, I can't take a 
is it called PC, the one with the tower and the thing? Can't do that in the car. So this other store, it's like $200 more. So it's, I don't know, it was like seven, it was almost $800 for a laptop. Now a Chromebook wouldn't work for what they have to do. This other, it's not Zoom, it's some other thing. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pray to God that some, some way I can get a computer because I, I have, I have to be able to see this other doctor as per my doctor. So anyhow, please be careful. Don't put any information on internet. I mean, I'm very careful not to, but when it's a reliable site, like I said, I used to have a charge card with them. Um, they didn't ask for this kind of stuff, but it wasn't the pandemic. And they've asked, I've heard other people talk about, so I don't know, I got screwed. I just learned from me, don't do anything online like that. So for now, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, share, sharing is caring. Don't forget to pay for it if it's good in your heart, probably hard in my heart. Please be very careful what you do. Um, you know, there's scams galore. And call a friend, help a friend, be a friend, look out for your elderly neighbors, do something good for yourself and someone else. And most importantly, stay safe. And not only physically safe, but safe from fraud. I, I just, I don't know if anyone's run into this, if you know what I should do, I don't know. I really don't know. But for now, learn from my lesson. Bye.